the 2022 Jeep Wrangler goes down a lonely trail with the top rolled over and adventure awaits around the corner. This iconic off-roader sports a retro exterior styling that pays homage to the formidable Jeep from World War II, but is packed with modern conveniences including touchscreen infotainment, cruise control, and an 8-speaker stereo. Top-tier trim can be quite luxurious, with leather upholstery, ambient interior lighting, on-dash navigation, onboard Wi-Fi, and a power-operated softtop. The Wrangler is offered in the traditional two-door body style, but buyers looking for extra space for passengers and cargo should consider the four-door unlimited model. A number of powertrains are on offer including a plug-in hybrid as well as a red-hot 6.4-liter V8, but no matter what engine is under the hood, the Wrangler comes with standard four-wheel drive. A number of upgrade features are available to help buyers set up their Wrangler to exactly their desired specifications. Its various models and features, as well as its reputation for conquering the track, give the Wrangler what it takes to compete with competitors such as the resurrected Toyota 4Runner and Ford Bronco. For 2022, the Wrangler lineup gets a Willys model with the Extreme Recon package. This adventure-ready trim comes with 35-inch BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires on 17-inch wheels, 1.5-inch suspension lift, upgraded brakes, and a number of black exterior trim and badges. The Willys Extreme Recon model comes standard with a 3.6-liter V6 engine and is offered only in the four-door unlimited body style. I like the idea of staying close to the Wrangler's simple roots while keeping the price in the lower end range. So we'll start with the two-door Wrangler which comes standard with a removable fabric top. Didn't want to experience World War II to the fullest, so would opt for the Wrangler Sport S for its add-ons, which include air conditioning, leather steering wheel, power windows and locks, automatic headlights, heating, mirrors, and more. Beyond that it will specify a 270 horsepower 2.0 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine for 295 pound-feet of torque 35 pounds more than the standard V6. A four-cylinder also comes standard with an eight-speed automatic, a powertrain combination that should make for a low-stress trail ride. We also opted for the technology plan for the larger 7.0-inch touchscreen and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities. The standard 285-horsepower 3.6-liter V6 of the previous generation Wrangler is under the hood of the new JL and can be paired with a six-speed manual gearbox or a smooth eight-speed automatic transmission. A turbocharged four-cylinder engine is optional and works in conjunction with the electric motor to provide additional low-end power. In addition to the standard V6 and optional four-cylinder hybrid, the Wrangler can also be equipped with a 3.6-liter V6 engine with the help of a similar hybrid, the 3.0-liter V6 diesel, a new 375-horsepower plug-in hybrid 4Z powertrain and a 6.4-liter V8 are also available. The Wrangler was born off-road ready, so part-time four-wheel drive is standard across the range and is controlled by a lever on the center console. In testing, the basic two-door Wrangler Sport with a V6 and 6-speed manual transmission ran from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds. A well-equipped four-door Sahara model with automatic transmission gets the job done in 6.8 seconds. With a four-cylinder hybrid powertrain, the four-door Sahara is slightly faster at 6.5 seconds to 60 miles per hour. The Rubicon models that carry the added weight in the form of heavier off-road equipment aren't that fast. Performance on the test track showed that the Wrangler JL far outperformed the previous model, but only held steady with its rivals in a few metrics. Although handling has improved, it's still truck-like compared to today's enhanced SUVs and pickups. The four-door ride was acceptable smoothly on rough surfaces, but the braking distance was inconsistent between the two test vehicles.